The only things that cause diseases in humans aren't alive. There's also dead things or things that can't reproduce on their own that can also cause disease in humans. These things that are not actually cells but can cause disease in humans are called acellular pathogens. In this video, we're going to discuss viruses, viroids, and prions. If something needs a host in order to be able to survive, and by it surviving, it causes damage to the host, that thing's called a parasite. If it has to be inside of the cell for it to survive, it is called intracellular. And if it must occur, it is obligate or an obligatory. So if something must live inside of a host cell in order to survive, and might kill the host cells by surviving, it is called an obligate intracellular parasite. Three types of obligate intracellular parasites that cause disease or are acellular pathogens are viruses, virioids, and prions. Viruses are things that have some type of nuclear material and it also has some type of a capsid. The virus is not able to make its own proteins. It's not able to replicate on its own. It must get inside of a cell that's alive and use the ribosomes and the other machinery of that cell in order to make its own ability to reproduce. If a single virus is infecting a host cell, that virus is called a virion. If the host that the virion is infecting is a bacteria, this virion is called a bacteriophage. So a bacteriophage is a virus that is specifically infecting a bacteria. Viruses can be spread either directly through contact or indirectly via living or dead things. If this indirect contact happens via something that's alive, it is known as a vector. If this indirect contact happens via something that is dead, it is known as a fomite. If someone has the common cold virus, sneezes on their hand, puts their hand on the door, and then you touch that door afterwards and now you have the common cold, the door handle was the thing that gave you the common cold from the other person. So the indirect contact of you to the other person came through the door handle, which is not living, so it is a fomite. If that person had sneezed on a dog and then you pet that dog and now you have the common cold, the dog was the thing that transmitted the disease and the dog was a vector. If a virus infects a host, kills the host, and when it kills the host, it takes some of the membrane from the host cell as it leaves, it is now an enveloped virus. So a virus that has the host cell membrane outside of its capsid, it's called an enveloped virus or has an envelope outside of it. Viruses are not living, so they're not part of that whole eukaryotic, archaea, bacteria conversation. They have to have a whole different way to classify them. And the way that people most commonly classify viruses is based on certain characteristics. Does the virus have DNA or RNA? If it has RNA, is it single-stranded or double-stranded? And if it is single-stranded RNA, is it the strand that is actually a template to make a protein? Or is this going to have to be replicated first and then allowed to make a protein? If this RNA can directly make a protein, I don't have to make the complementary strand of the RNA first. It is called positive sense. If you have to make the other complement strand before you can make the protein, it is called negative sense. Viruses have DNA and a capsid. If something just is DNA, it doesn't have a capsid at all, that is called a viroid. Viroids infect plants more commonly than animals. If it is just a protein, just misfolded proteins floating around, but those misfolded proteins can be like, hey, and tell another protein to also misfold, that is called a prion. In summary, acellular pathogens are anything that can cause disease but are not 
actually living or have every component of a cell. They require a host cell in order to survive. Therefore, they are obligate intracellular parasites. There are three types of acellular pathogens discussed in this video, viruses, viroids, and prions. Viruses have DNA or RNA and some type of a protein capsid. That capsid may also have the cell membrane from the host outside of it. And if it has the cell membrane of the host outside, it is an enveloped virus or it has the host envelope. If the virus has RNA, that RNA can be single or double-stranded. If the protein can be made directly from the RNA present in the virus, it is positive sense. If the protein has to be made from the complement strand, that is negative sense. Viruses can be transmitted through direct contact as well as indirect contact via fomites, which are dead things, or vectors, which are living things.